Hey guys, let's see in this video the different types of PHP arrays and how to display the values from each type inside HTML and elements. We are going to see and explain what a numeric array is, what an associative array is, and we are going to structure a multidimensional array and display the data inside HTML tables. So let's begin. In front of me, I have a simple HTML page and inside the body tags, I'm going to open PHP tags. Now I will go inside the PHP tags and I'm going to create an array of names. I'm going to say array, open parentheses, and inside quotes, I'm going to write a bunch of names. And I will store the array in a variable called names. Now let me say a few words about this particular array that we have here. Here we have a simple array and it's called an indexed array or a numeric array because every value is associated with a numeric index. We see that the first item in the array, which is the name Dennis, has an index of 0. That is because arrays in PHP are zero based, which means that we start counting the items in an array from 0. So, if I want to access the first item from the array, I will use the names variable and inside square brackets I will pass in the index 0. This will output Dennis. If I want to display the name Tony, I will use the index 3. It is really simple and easy to access the items from an array. Now, let's see how we can loop through the names array and display every name in a paragraph element. PHP has a function called for each which function loops through an array and access every index and every item. So I'm going to write for each, open parentheses, and as the first argument, I will pass in the variable that holds the array, which is names. Next, I will say as index. This variable will give me access to the array's indexes, and I will use the double arrow operator to associate, it, to associate every index to the corresponding item. And since, and since the items in the array are names, we can change the item variable to name. So it makes more sense. Now when the function runs, in the first iteration, the index variable will have a value of 0 and the name variable a value of tennis. In the second iteration, the index variable will have the value 1 and the name variable will hold the value James. This will go on until the for each function reaches the last item in the array. Now let's see how we can insert HTML code inside the for each loop. To do so, I have to write a closing PHP tag and a few lines down I will open PHP again. Now I can go between those tags and write normal HTML. I will create a paragraph element and inside I'm going to write my name is. Now I have to use the name variable, but I have to open PHP tags again and say echo name. Let's run the file to see the output. And here we have every name displayed in a paragraph element. Now there is another way to access the names from the array, and that is by using the index variable. I will change the name variable to names to target the array, and inside brackets I will say index. Let's see this. I will reload the page, and we have the same output. But most of the time we access directly the value. Okay. This is how we loop through a simple array and display the data inside HTML elements. Now let's move to the next file to see how to access the values of an associative array. Let's open PHP tags again. And between them, I'm going to create an associative array. I will say user equals square brackets. This is another way to create an array without using the array function. Now the entries inside an associative array are structured in key value pairs. Let me show you. Inside quotes, I'm going to write name, then I will use the double arrow operator, and again inside quotes, I'm going to say Dennis. Now this is a key value pair. On the left, we have the key, and on the right, we have the value. And this array is called an associative array because we are associating the key with the value. This means that to access a particular value, we have to target its key. To add another key value pair, we do the exact same thing. Let's say age 25. But we have to separate each entry with a comma. This is important, else we'll, we will get an error. Let's add another one, city Madrid. 
Now let's see how we can access the values and use them in a sentence. I'm going to create a paragraph element and inside I'm going to write my name is and I will use and I will use dots instead of values. I am dots years old and I live in dots. Now let's replace the dots with the actual values. Let's start with the name. I'm going to open PHP tags and inside I'm going to say echo. I will target the user array and inside brackets and inside quotes I will say name. This will give us the value that the name key is associated with. In our case, it's Dennis. Let's do this with the age and with the city. Let's run the file in the browser to see what we get. And we see that the values have filled our sentence. Nice. You see that we don't have to loop through an associative array to get the values. But this is not the case if, if we deal with multidimensional arrays. So let's jump to the next file and see how we can get the values from a multidimensional array. Okay, let's create a multidimensional array called people. But I have to open PHP tag first. Next, I'm going to create a variable called people and set it equal to square brackets. So far, we have a simple array. Now, inside the square brackets, I'm going to create another set of square brackets. In fact, I'm going to create another three. Now, our people array is a two-dimensional array that holds four other arrays. Every array is considered a value. That's why we separate every array with a comma. I forgot to mention earlier that we don't need to put a comma in the last value. Now let's populate our arrays with key value pairs. We will have a name, an age, and a profession. This is how our arrays will look like. Now let me quick populate the other arrays as well. In our second array we have James, he is 35 and he is a pilot. Next we have Axel, he is 28 and a race driver. And last we have Tony, he is 32 and an actor. Notice that when the values are numbers we don't need to put quotes around them, even if we are dealing with decimal numbers. If I say 32.5 it is valid code. Now let's loop through this two-dimensional array and display the data inside a paragraph element first and then inside an HTML table. This time I'm going to show a different structure of the foreach function. I'm going to open PHP tags. I will say for each, open parentheses, and again the first argument is the array that we loop through. And next I will say as index, again the double arrow and value. And after the closing parentheses I will put a colon. Now I will go a few lines down, I will open PHP tags again, and I will say end for each, with a semicolon at the end. Now we can go between those lines of code and write valid HTML. But before we output the data, let me explain few things first. As you saw in the first example, the value variable gives us access to the array's values. In our case here, the whole array is considered a value. And the index variable gives us access to the array's indexes. You can see the people array also as a numeric array. The first value or array has an index of 0, the second an index of 1, and so on. This means that when the for each function runs, the index variable will hold a value of 0 and the value variable will hold the first array. In the second iteration, the index variable will hold the value 1 and the value variable will hold the second array. Now let's loop through the array and output the data. I will create again a paragraph element and inside the elements body I will say my name is Dodds, I am Dodds years old and I am Dodds. Now let's replace the dots with the corresponding values. I will start with a name. I will open PHP tags, I will say echo and next I will use the value variable which, which holds the array. We know that to access the value in an array we have to target its key. So I will open square brackets and inside quotes I will say name. Next I will do the same thing to get the age and the profession. 
And that's it. Now let's run the file to see the output. Let's do a refresh on the page. And something is wrong. We get an error in the second array. And that is because I misspelled the word profession. Let's fix it. And reload the page again. And now we have the data from the people array in the screen. Nice. Now let's see how we can display the data from the people array in an HTML table. Now let's go to the last file in which I have the same people array and let's see how we can output the data inside an HTML table. First I have to open table tags. Inside the table tags I will create a table row. Inside the table row I will create three table headers. Inside the first cell I will have the name, in the second the age and in the third the profession. Next I will go under the table row and I will write a for each loop. I will say for each people as person. Did you notice that I didn't include the index variable? That is because I'm interested only in the values, which are the arrays. So the person variable will give me access to each array. Next I will go a few lines down and I will end the for each loop. Now inside the loops body I will create another table row and inside I will create a table cell. Inside the table cell I will open PHP tags and I will output the name. Next I will create another table cell to display the age and last one more to display the profession. And that's it. Let's run the file to see our table in the screen. Nice but it doesn't look like a table, so let's do a little bit of styling. I will open style tags, I will target the table and give it a width of 100. Next I will target the table's header cells. I will set the background to a light grey and give them some padding. And last I will target the table cells, I will align the text in the center, I will set some padding and I will give the cells a border to make the whole thing look like a table. Now let's refresh the page to see our table. Nice. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Subscribe if you like. See you in the next one.